This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Fox and you clicked on this because you want the price prediction on Tesla. Well, I'm predicting that in January, it's almost a virtual certainty, in my opinion, that it will be $900. It's, it probably will be $1,000 and it could go as high as $1,200. I actually think these are fairly conservative estimates. So somewhere between 900 and 1200, uh, if it goes to 1200, that's a 50% <laughs> increase. Um, you know, but everything is is lining up just right for this company. And they're doubling their production uh, this year with the addition of two major gigafactories. And these are large gigafactories uh, in China and in Texas. They're going to be making a lot of Model Ys, but the Texas facility will also be making the Cybertruck, uh, which won't come out till 2023 because they're making it indestructible. Uh, looking at the one year chart on Tesla, you can see the market capitalization has gone to 844 billion. You know, it's not to worry. Uh, some people would say, oh, it's got such a large capitalization, it can't possibly grow. I think this is going to be the first $5 trillion company. It has that many aspects to it. And, and I think the solar energy thing is just starting to help a little bit. And they've kind of drawn resources away from solar energy. And that's why it hasn't done so good is they, they took all the best engineers off the, the solar energy and battery energy part of their business and put it towards the Model 3 because at that time the Model 3 was do or die and they had to make it but now they're redeploying uh, assets into their solar and battery part uh, so that's that's going to come and, and that's going to make them more money and make them a more diversified and more valuable company and plus their self-driving is is just starting to really uh, take hold. They're, they're getting close to level three. And I think all they need to really accomplish is level four. Uh, level five it would be out of this world, uh, but I think that's further away. I think they could get to level uh, four in, in five years. Of course, technology tends to go faster than what I predict. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt. Some interesting facts about cars in general might help you to put this in a, in a framework and you can see how lucrative their future is. Uh, at any given time, there's about 2 billion cars on the face of the earth, okay? And every year, about 100 million of them are replaced. And Tesla, I think they've sold maybe a total of two or three million you know, and if if they get 20% of the per year uh, 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 selling of cars, uh, that would be 20 million. So they're set to grow about 20 times more than they are now. Now, it won't it probably won't be 20 times more uh, simply uh, because, uh, you know, there's there's ceiling effects, I think. Uh, they're, they could easily grow five times more, five or six times more than they are uh, today. And that's what will happen with the price at which you bought it. It will go up five or six times. And I don't think it's going to be a long stretch of time. Uh, if you've ever, if you've ridden in a, an electric car and, and you've experienced their acceleration and their safety and their comfortableness, uh, I will never go back to an internal combustion engine, an ICE car. Uh, man, it, there's just no comparison. There's no maintenance on it. There's nothing to maintain. It's basically the battery in the car, and they're making the cars increasingly, so they're going to, going to be pretty hard to decompose. Uh, they're getting these gigantic stamping machines 
that stamp out uh, large parts of the car. And so they're getting rid of parts. Uh, everything's going to be tied to everything else, which means less to repair and, and more durability. And they use an aluminum alloy. And this is so interesting. So they invent their own metals uh, to make cars out of. Uh, they took aluminum and they use varying amounts of copper and manganese, depending on what part of the car it is. And, and that increases the strength and durability. And so you basically got a space age car and pretty soon we'll be putting wings on it and flying around like the jets in it, I, I imagine. This company is a shocker in many ways. In the third quarter, they were predicting uh, estimates of earnings uh, for the quarter would be 98 cents. And it made a dollar 45 earnings. So it was it was almost 50 percent above what they were predicting. Thanks for listening. I hope this has brought you some valuable information and reinvigorated your resolve to get some Tesla. Uh, you know, it's at a high price. I think I might buy some more. That's the way I am. I like them when they go up. I don't like them when they go down. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you receive future videos. We'll see you. Bye-bye.